now we will throw the other wood back. Very good. Then we will close the latch. Hey, Metaverse. It'd be so wonderful to find more productivity when utilizing a wood stove. Would you like to learn how to be more productive? Stay tuned in the episode and we will show you how to be more productive. This is K-A-Y-L-A-N, better known as Professor Saigonus and Angels. And my angels and Iris, one human being, I know it is beyond the sight you're seeing. We're doing very good, my miracles, my wonderful angels. And remember to have healthy eating, appropriate speech, appropriate behavior, appropriate clothing, appropriate spacing into the science and anatomy of all things. Also, remember to have the goals of the body, the household, and the outside responsibilities. Something for all of the responsibilities of the body, the household, and the outside responsibilities. Everything needs cleaned, but how can we clean that? Unless we had one very important thing, soap. Have you ever wondered how to make soap out of ashes from the wood stove? First, collect your ashes into a container. Then get a jar. You can actually have this as a very large barrel. This is a prototype small version. The first thing that you will need is the jar and holes at the bottom. Make sure to poke the holes at the bottom in small holes all around. Like this. Very good. The next thing that you will need is the materials. First, you'll need a bunch of little rocks and stones. Then you will need grass. Then you can utilize a little bit of some charcoal or small sti sticks. The first thing that we will do in order to make soap is We will include the rocks into the jar at the bottom. So now the stones are at the bottom. Very good. These are pebbles. Also, something that you will need is coconut fat. This is organic coconut. You could utilize the fat from the coconut in order to harden the soap afterwards. And this is vegan soap also. Vegan, gluten-free, and practical non-GMO in a sense of a way. And now, what we will do after that is we will include the grass. Let's add the grass into the jar. Very good. The next thing that we will do is add the charcoal. After this, we will include a small amount of ashes at a time. We will mix the ashes with water. Then afterwards, we will mix the ashes with water. After we do this, we need a platform plate to put over top of the jar. But we need to make sure that something can hold the jar up. So thus far, we will make little pillar towers and then we will put the jar over top of the little pillar towers so that the liquid of LYE soap can go out from the bottom. 
Very good. And this is a miniature version of something that you can make much larger th than this for larger projects. Very good. The next thing that we will do is pour the ash water into the jar. Looks like we may need more than that. Add just a little bit at a time. We will mix the ashes with the water. There we go. Left forward, right back. Very good. It's doing good. Then we will pour that in to the filtration. This may take quite some time in order to, co to collect the LYE. Be patient. Afterwards, we will mix the LYE with the coconut fat. We may need to run this back twice. Bravery. We may need to run the LYE soap twice. Sit down on your sofa, please. Sit on your sofa until this episode is done. Bravery. Looks like there is a little bit of LYE collected, but we may need to backtrack that twice. We will continue to filter this until this is a nice liquid soap. Afterwards, we will mix this with the coconut fat while boiling and getting this hot. This may take a while to be able to collect the LYE soap. Let's try mixing some more. There that is, the LYE soap. Very good. 
The LYE soap will look like a brownish color. If the ashes come out, that means that you may have to rerun that a few times before you get LYE soap. As you can see, the LYE is a little bit brownish color, which is completely different from the gray color that ashes usually are. The reason why is because you are extracting a fine liquid and filtering that. Let's mix more ashes. Not too much water and not too less water either. Now we will pour that into the filtration. And remember, the filtration may have to be ran through twice in order to get an incredible fine liquid. Now we will wait patiently while the LYE soap is being gathered. Wow, LYE is already starting to be collected. Congratulations. Very good. We always want to find more ways of being productive. Soap is something that is incredibly important. In fact, there is such a history about soap making and the importance of soap making. Well, we are starting to collect a lot of LYE soap. Back then, they did not have a lot of resources on how to shower. You possibly wonder, how did they shower back then without soap? Some of them would boil certain types of fruits in order into the water in order to try to shower. But that did not work out every time. Peppermint was very known to be a natural healing thing for many years. So some utilized peppermint. In India, they utilized a very special type of fruit that boiled, making a soapy-like substance. And in other parts of the world, they tried different strategies, but none of them was necessarily the best strategy. Because in a sense of a way, they still felt unclean. So they always tried to find different strategies and they tested different things. Now the fruit strategy was actually very good and efficient, but sometimes was sticky. 
And so L-Y-E soap was something that could get really greasy things off of things. And this was created with ashes after cooking your food. With the heat of fire, then afterwards, you would try to find productive things to do with this. Perhaps they have documentation on who discovered L-Y-E soap. Hmm, wonder who would know about that. Well, it sounds like Google's library may have something there. Google has an incredible library about so many things. We are so thankful for Google. Perhaps we can ask Google. Perhaps Google knows. They have so many things in their metadata. Surely they have something about LYE soap. Would you like to look? Come on, let's ask Google. We ask Google. Google says that there is no proof of history of who exactly came up with LYE soap. Ancient Mesopotamians? or even the Babylonians, but no one necessarily has any backup proof of who exactly invented LYE soap and how they invented it. There's so many inventions that were accidental inventions. Wondering if they just had an open outside campfire and just accidentally poured water over that after boiling the water, and perhaps that had left this residue on there that they had became curious about or possibly someone was intelligent enough to identify and recognize LYE soap. Either way, we know now that they do not have any backup documents about who invented that. But yet we are thankful that we know how to do this. There are some people in Indonesian cultures that utilize LYE soap if they do not have any store availability. And some of them do it to keep the culture alive. Now let's rinse this off. As you can see, this is empty now. And now look, we have a brown liquid. And that is the LYE. Excellent. Now what we do is we heat this up while mixing coconut with this. We always want to give you correct angling. This is a sweet potato. Mrs. Deborah had given sweet potatoes yesterday. How nice is that? Thank you, Mrs. Deborah. And now we will get back to mixing the coconut fat with the LYE soap. Let's add more LYE. Very good. Well, how amazing is this? You can make a bigger version of this if you want to make a bigger thing of soap. After we have melted the coconut fat in here, then it will be time to cool this off. You could stick this in the freezer afterwards so this can harden. But since this is created into the LYE soap. All we have to do is let this cool off now. We will set this onto the ground. 
We could not have had one thing without the other. That's the truth. So we should be very thankful for the things that we have in life. Whether if it is the soap that we have to clean everything or the development that it took to be able to create that. Always practice gratitude every day. Did you know that practicing gratitude proves that you are more healthy than people who do not practice gratitude? And if you wanted to learn how to make soap, there is the educational episode that could help you make soap with just simply ashes and fat from coconut. <laughs>